Hey everybody, what's up? My name is David. And I'm Dylan. And we're the Wet Rats. And welcome to day six of our 13 days of the Halloween. The spookiest day. Of, the spooky, one of the spookiest days. The second, the first spookiest day. 13 would be like the other one, right? What? It's like six is like the, the sign of the devil. Six, six, six is the sign of the devil. Well, no, six is the sign of the devil. Six, if you six, haven't six, watched six. our Omen video, check that one out. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, we're going to be talking about The Mist. If you're not familiar with the series... You alright? Yeah, If you're not familiar with this series, we talk about horror movies, and we spoil them. The idea is, you've already watched it, you're caught up with it, making sure the audio is rolling. It is. Uh, but so, you know, if you haven't, if you haven't watched The Mist, we're going to spoil it. And on that note, might as well get right into the ending. The Mist? Yeah. You don't want to? You don't want to? So I was painted. I was painted. <laughs> if we're going to spoil it, we might as well jump right into the end. Sure, we, sure. We, we both just watched it for the very first time. Yes. Um, we'd never seen it before. That being said, sad note, everybody. Really sad note. Pretty a little sad, sad note for me personally. Why? I already knew the ending. Oh, really? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. That really, really sucks. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, to me, it. Um, I love this movie, by the way. This movie is fucking amazing. Yes. This was really good. It was really, I really liked it. I was really into this movie. Uh, man, the only thing I could like say after the ending was just like, fuck, that sucks so much. <laughs> yeah. Like, that guy gets yeah. fucked. There's no way he's not committing suicide the first chance he gets. Right. There's no way. Yeah, I was... He had to see his wife. He, he, he saw his wife get yeah. fucked. Yeah. Nothing, nothing good happened. No, nothing, nothing good happened to that guy. Then he just had to kill his son. Who cares about the other people in the car? That's, I mean, he can get over that. Uh, uh, I'd be sad if I had to kill Jeffrey Tamber or whatever that sure, guy's name was. I love that guy. Why is he in this movie fucked up? We could probably get over that stuff in general. But, but you, you just, just had to like kill your son, son. then knowing, knowing if you could just wait like, like 30, 30 more seconds, yeah. Yeah. everything would have To me, like, like and, and you know, maybe this is a cliche term, term it's, it's very Shakespearean. Shakespearean. Yes. It's, it's a very, very like, like, that kind of twist that you don't want to happen, but man, yeah. it just happens. It's like bad. It, it's the end of Hamlet where it's just like, everybody died? Really? Everybody? And it's like, man, that sucks just all around. Like, yep. you know? Sorry, I spoil Hamlet, guys. You have a little while to see it. To be fair, Horatio lives. Yeah, it, it is very Shakespearean in the way of just like, okay, all this shit. Like, the, as the audience is just like, no, 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 no. But then, like, you see it's just like, ah. Uh, yeah. The person must get fucked because of that. And personally, like, this is like a stu one of those stupid, like, horror complaint kind of things. Not even a complaint. But as soon as someone pulled the gun out, I was like, I knew what they're doing. As soon as I knew what was going to happen, and as soon as he said, there's four bullets, and she's like, there's only five of us, I was like, this is a really easy solution. Shoot the kid first, because he's sleeping. You don't have to shoot them right away. There's no reason for you to shoot them right away. Then strangle one of the people because you can do that <laughs> and then kill everybody else. Yeah. Problem solved. I don't know. I'd rather shoot somebody than strangle them, but yeah. But if your options are if you want to get brutally murdered well, by a yeah, giant monster or you're strangled, that's get true. strangled. Uh, duh. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I will say, un very unfortunately, and I, I, I do want to say, I really like the movie. However, I do think this is one of those twists where... It's not like The Sixth Sense where you kind of watch it again and you're like, now that I know the twist, I can like think about things differently and like sure. look at things. This is the kind of twist where it kind of takes the impact out of your like, you know what's going to happen, so it doesn't have the th same thing where you're like watching it again and like, oh, I didn't realize they set up the twist here. It doesn't have that. It's not like Fight right. Club where it's like, whoa, I didn't realize he was only talking to him, you but know, or whatever there. Like, in this, and kind of on the two, I almost feel like it's not really that much of a twist in the sense of like twist is like spinning like, twisting what you thought and spinning no I agree it's more it's, or less it's, yeah we've already had the climax a tragic yeah. event that happened right? but I will say it, it, it is the final blow of the movie right and it takes the punch away from sure that, they'll take the punch away but at the same yeah. time it's like I don't think it's being like oh you're dead the whole time it's just kind of like fuck it the result no right issue. I'm not saying it ruined the movie it, uh, again no 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 I, the movie. I, I'm, I'm just, just saying like as yeah. far as twist goes I just I wish I didn't know it right yeah of course I have a quick bone to pick on that subject matter this is a movie series where we're spoiling movies. We announced that at the beginning of them, so you know you should know that. Fuck you if you spoil movies for people. Yeah. Like, and you know, this is a thing that's a big topic on the internet lately. I'm, I'm just gonna go this real quick. This is a whole thing. I don't want to. I want to talk about the myths. I want to talk about this forever. But the whole thing of like, when's it okay to spoil something? Well, maybe you have ten years. Like, I just made a joke. Like, well, Hamlet, you had like fucking two hundred years. Sure. Should have seen it. But I mean, that's also one that's taught to every fucking kid who goes through high school or college. Like, in one of those situations, you learn that. Or, I mean, you, you saw, saw The Lion King, King. it's fucking Hamlet with sure. lions. I mean, you know, you know that story. And I, I just feel like there's certain things that people, like, for example, The Sixth Sense. And just in case you don't know, I'm not going to say what the twist is. 
but obviously there's a twist. Everybody knows there's a twist. I'm sure you know what it is. Um, it kind of sucks that, like, even when the movie came out, immediately everybody said it. It was just like, this is it. This is the twist. you got to see it because here's the twist. And it's like, I get it. I get it now if you didn't know. It's kind of like, not that I want to run it for you because if you don't know the twist, please watch that movie. Holy shit. But, um... You know, you know, now, at this point, you've had time. time. But, but I just feel like, when, when I, was I was younger, younger I knew the twist before I saw The Sixth Sense. Sense. And, and I saw it years, years and years after it came out. And I just felt like, at the time, it was like, I haven't had, you know, 20 years to see this movie or whatever. It's been like two, three years. It's like, right. it sucks that I just know this. See, I don't think years long. Here, here's, the, here's kind of the thing, too. It's like, it's a weird thing to think. There's things like The Sixth Sense where the twist is so synonymous with the movie, right? right. It's, it's hard, hard like, like if it's, it's been like ten years, years or so, it's just like, well, it's, well, it's hard not just blur out the thing. You yeah. heard of that movie? You just had to go. You had to right. watch it. It's, it's the same thing as like, and I, I will say this one, like, like the Darth Vader thing. Now, now you, you just know, know that. that. Sure, that's just but is. What I'm getting at too is like, so sometimes like movies like The Mist, you may not have heard of because when it came out, it might have been too young to hear about it, or you just was off your radar. So it's kind of like don't spoil things for that because. That, that wasn't such a grand scale, scale thing of people everybody's always, always talking about the mist. Yeah. That, that you would need to do that. So, so if it's like a big, big huge movie where you probably heard about it, that's, that's your fault because you didn't go see it. But if it's not yeah. yeah. as big as a movie like that and like someone runs it, it's like then you're an asshole that because person that person might have never found out about the movie until you just mentioned it right there. Well, even so, I think too, like, it depends. Because, you know, with like the Darth Vader thing, that's, that's just, just such a cemented fact, fact at this point. Like, it'd be cool to watch the movie and not know that. It'd be amazing. But, but it's, it's just, just such a thing. It's like, when you talk about Darth Vader, you're going to mention that he's Luke's father. father. That just goes with the conversation. Sure. But when you, when you bring up a movie like, like The Mist, to just immediately blurt out, out like, oh, here's the ending. It's like, we weren't. Why would you just blurt that out? Because I don't think that, that's the thing. It's like, I don't think the ending is just so crucial to the whole thing. Exactly. You just say that. You didn't. That wasn't, to me, that wasn't. The moment that made that movie the best movie. To me, it was a very tragic and impactful moment. But it wasn't a thing being like, it wasn't like the things in the myths are robots or like something like that. It wasn't yeah. like that kind of thing where like, you need to tell people that. Like to me, it's just, I don't get it. I just, I, well, I think part of the problem is people, I mean, and, and let's, let's be real here. And I'm, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, everybody else is idiots and like compliment ourselves or whatever. I don't think we're that intelligent. Sure. Or I mean, you know, we, we're doing a, a series now that gets like no views. But I was just going to say like, general audiences that don't really appreciate film or, you know, try to analyze it as much, I think have the, you know, it, it's what I mentioned earlier in the last video of, like, clickbaity stuff. Sure. Like, the clickbait of The Mist is the ending. The yeah. clickbait of The Sixth Sense, and that's not to diminish how good the ending is. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. I just mean that, like, that's the thing that generates conversation. It's the same thing with Game of Thrones. I haven't seen Game of Thrones. I know everything about it. I know, you know, I know, oh, this guy dies, this guy dies, this girl dies, like, this guy gets raped. Like, I know all that shit, and it sucks, because I haven't seen that show, and now I have zero interest in watching that show. And to me, it's the clickbait shit, because people go on Twitter, they're like, oh my god, I saw something. I saw something that I have to tell to everybody. You guys going to say, don't. That's one of my current ones that I hate the most, because I will, like, if I'm busy, I can't watch the episode as it fucking airs, or, like, shit like that. Like, I have shit to do. Like, I like the show, but I'm going to, I have other shit the priorities. And I hate that I can't. Because it happened to me several times in the last season. Because this is the first time I've been like more active on Tumblr. I would just go on Tumblr and someone would have posted gifts from that episode. Literally had ended maybe like five minutes ago. You're posting gifts already. Yeah. What dickhead is posting screen caps and gifts of that thing? It's like, yep. that, you're just being an asshole. You I can't possibly do that and not think you're not an asshole. Yeah, exactly. And that's like, I just feel like to just bring up a movie like The Mist and just blurt out like, I can't believe he killed himself and then it was the military saved him all. Why would you just lead with that? Yeah. Why would that be the thing you lead with? I never understand that. Like, oh yeah, my god, you really see Game of Thrones? You know, Bill Bill died. Uh, no, I hadn't seen it. Thank, thanks for fucking yeah, like, exactly. Why? Why is that? Why is people just need? blurt that shit out. Like, I, I don't understand why people feel the need to just blurt yeah. it out. And it's like... To me, I didn't know that. So if I was expecting any sort of twist, it was going to be... The mist aspect, like what was the mist thingy? Right. So to me, like the twist was kind of like, oh, the military did it. Yeah. Um, but no, like apart from like the spoiler stuff or whatever that, I really like this movie because this movie is a type of movie that has this really type of big impact on me. And horror movies want to do this. Yeah. And it's a really hard thing. Where I can't. I don't know how to actually define what it is, but it's more or less hopeless people in a hopeless situation where they're completely left. Because you have things like. Let's, like for Halloween, for example, 
Do you have a horrible situation where the person's kind of hopeless, but I don't feel like the person's ever fucked. Mm-hmm. Like, they're totally fucked no matter what. Like, this kind of situation where I'm like, this is kind of just like, you're stuck in a shop at a grocery store. And there's like these other dimension godlike type creatures. Like, you're just, you're not going to kill all these creatures. You're right. Tools to kill them, they're not just some regular person, you're just completely fucked. Yeah. yeah. And that hopeless kind of feeling where I know they're not going to get out of the situation. Almost like gets a like real big impact to me. Like I really feel that the whole time watching really. And that's why I really like watching because these type of movies like just really really like give me like that kind of feeling that you want to watch. That feeling you want to you want to get when you watch a movie. You want to have like some sort of feeling connected to you. But to me, this one definitely had that. Right. Especially when they're driving in the car. I'm like, man, I'm like really blanking. I remember there's some like big movie that I remember like thinking like, oh, this is just like a hyper violent version of this other movie. But now I cannot think of what it was, and it's driving me crazy. It's, 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 it's like, like a popular movie, too, that I remember thinking, like, oh, man, this is so, so much, much like that movie, but it's, like, a super, like, gory version of it. But yeah, but yeah, this is probably the most gory one we've seen so far, what too. What was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, Halloween didn't really show a lot of gore. gore. And, and, like, throwing like, it into days of PG-13. Um, God, it's driving me fucking crazy now. I'm going to lose my mind. Anyways, leave it in the comments. What was the movie? But, no, I like, I mean... I just, I just I really enjoyed the miss. I feel like everybody in the movie just always fuck. I, uh, I, uh, let's you know if it, if it looks, looks like, like a duck. Let's let's call it let's call it what it is. This, this is, is essentially a zombie movie. Sure, sure. yeah, definitely. for all intents and purposes. And and, and zombie, zombie stuff is like you know super bland at this point and it's super overdone, overdone and it has been for a long time. What's, What's cool, cool about the mist is it takes the, the normal thing as you would expect. From that, from that type of situation. situation. And it, it, it has similarities, it's like, people all trapped together, trying to survive, trying to survive. you know, somebody gets injured, how are we going to get medicine? Got cut off again, you guys know the drill by now, if you've been watching, this shit happens all the time, we, we don't know how, why it happens. Anyways, there's a lot of, like, similar situations that you've seen in movies before. Um, but The Mist does things a little differently, because it has a different lore, it's not zombies. Right. So the normal rules you expect, like, you can shoot them in the head, right. they're kind of dumb, like, you don't know, are these creatures intelligent? They, yeah. You know, they do seem to not be able to get through walls very well, but, like, you know, they do seem pretty patient and waiting, so are they, are they, because they seem like insects, do they actually behave like insects, or are they just very patient, or, like, yeah, and that's what I like, like, the normal things that you always know in zombie sure. stuff, it, it totally takes it away, because this is not zombies, it's different. Similar like, situations, similar scenarios. It's like Lovecraftian zombie movie. Like, yeah, there's, there's definitely, definitely yeah. very Lovecraftian. Yeah, especially when you see like the giant one, it was right. like that's some Cthulhu shit or yeah. whatever. Uh, there's quick, just quick side note, not a major thing. It didn't it, in no way did this ruin the movie at all for me or anything. But a tiny minor thing. There's a part where like the military guy like reveals like we were opening portals to other worlds. I would have been okay if we just didn't know. Sure, like yeah, these things are just here, and maybe somebody suggests like. You know, I like they were talking like I heard the military were doing crazy stuff. Yeah. Cool, that's a possibility. Well, I heard it's God breath. Cool, possibility. Now I can decide. Exactly. But that's to kind of come out and say it is like, well, and that's right. really how the movie was opening up at the beginning was. Yeah. Here's all these different options. Yeah. Which one? Like it could be. And anything. again, it didn't make to break the movie. It was okay that they explained it, but I just I would have liked it a yeah. little bit better if they would have just been like, we don't know. Yeah. But just say they were doing experiments and like crazy shit happened, like. Because yeah. then it could have been like, we got aliens from here. Because at first I thought it was like aliens. Yeah, I thought for sure. Oh, you know what? Thanks, Thanks for mentioning aliens. aliens. This, this was a violent version of War of the Worlds. Oh, yeah. This yeah. was a super gory War of the Worlds. Because it was even similar, like, there's like some tentacle yeah. shit. And there's the parts where they like, they like come in and like search you out. And, like mm-hmm. sniffing for you. Uh, and I'm just gonna, I, I haven't actually seen the original War of the Worlds. I'm, I'm specifically talking about the Spielberg one. Everybody hates, but I actually really like uh, have you seen that one? Nope, I haven't seen the other one. I actually really like it. A lot of people shit all over that movie. I think it's great. People shit over it because it's ending, which I won't spoil, but I liked it a lot. Um, it's not the Spielberg's best movie by any stretch, but it is a fun movie. Uh, anyways, I'm not going to talk about War of the Worlds anymore. Uh, but this was like a violent version of that, I felt like, because it was a similar kind of thing of like, people were kind of like trying to escape or whatever, but this like had this Stephen King thing of like, everybody's getting fucked up. Yeah. Um, this is like, that's kind of where thing too, is like, I feel like not a lot of people talk about The Mist, necessarily. No. And that's, and that's because I remember at the time, it was pretty divisive. I was gonna say, I, I think, yeah. But watching it now is just like, I don't know, it's... How do you like this? It's pretty suspenseful, the acting's really, really well, well done. I yeah. can't think of what you were just like, nah, I don't want this. Uh, honestly, it's the ending. That's, I mean, I get... It's to too, me, it's, so it's, it's too dark. But what's funny to me is... 
people love zombie movies. Yeah. And like I was saying, this is essentially the same type of movie. Yeah. People love those movies. Yeah, yeah I can't I can't believe the dark part was what people would, like wouldn't like about that. That seems stupid. I can see it being like, like oh yeah. man, come on, that's what you ended with. But still, at the same time, it's just like yeah. yeah. Well, people, people are weird because it's funny. To me. Get, it's it's just funny, like, like, like the idea that people would have been okay with like people getting ripped in half and violence, but oh my god, you killed a kid. Well, I mean, here's and the, here's the thing: is like to me, the ending wasn't shock. I mean, not, I guess I don't know what you're surprising. It was it was impactful. It was shock, um, jarring, or whatever I want term you want to use. Yeah, but. It wasn't unexpected. How much do you th there's only so many options. Okay, well, here, here's the specific thing. I'll tell you exactly what people have a problem with. It's not the fact that he had to kill his kid. Okay. People would have been okay with that. Yeah. Because it sucks. It's super depressing. I mean, people wouldn't have been, like, fucking jumping with joy over it. But they would have been like, I get it. I see why you had to do that. But it's specifically the fact that it was unnecessary. And people couldn't handle that. And, 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 and to be fair, fair that's, that's my opinion. opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, saying I heard that from a person, person, but that's personally what I think. Because in zombie movies, if, if, if it ends and everybody dies, or in horror movies, if it ends and everybody dies, in a zombie movie, everybody dies or whatever, people are okay with it. Because that's just, that's that's par for the course. But it's the fact that, like, you knew it was going to be depressing, you knew it was going to be depressing, and then you find out, like, he killed his kids for no reason. If they would have just waited 30 more seconds. Or just stayed in the supermarket. Yeah, or just, yeah, and it's like it's that idea that which to me or you we see that and we're like, that's brilliant writing. Yeah, that's great. That's way you're gonna remember that ending way more. But people just want it to be like they're okay with it being depressing if it's if it if it's, if it's stays the course. It's the fact that it's like it twists it that right. people don't like. Because as soon as they hop in that car, I knew it was gonna happen. I was like, they're gonna just run out of gas, and I knew that either they were going to kill each other. Or they were just going to go have to sacrifice themselves to, like, whatever things are out there. Yeah. So to me, it was like, duh, it's going to happen. And then having the miss go away was just like, oh, fuck. That was, like, the one bit I wasn't expecting. Which what's made it really good. Because, yeah. I mean, how was... I mean, would you have seriously liked that movie if they're like, I'm going to kill my kid, and all of a sudden they hear a tank, and their shot was like, oh, good, we're saved. No, that movie would have been shit. Yeah, That'd but people, I bet people probably would have responded better. Sure. And to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what the critics said. I'm just talking like I know general reception was pretty mixed with this. Well, one. Steven Spielberg, not Steven Spielberg, <laughs> uh, three, two, one. Stephen King said he was legitimately scared by this movie. So suck on that, people. Um, I like again. I love the movie a lot. I'm not scared by tentacle stuff or bugs. Um, uh, so I wasn't really scared. That's what I, I just want to say. Where I feel like there's different levels of scary. Yeah, I definitely. wouldn't say I was. I wasn't scared by this movie. I was horrified by this movie. This movie was horrifying to me. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess. Uh, to me, it was scarier. Like, and this is a common theme with a lot of post-apocalyptic stuff. But to me, it's scarier. And and this is one of those things where we're talking about, like when we talk about the Omen, like. It's not like the thing that jumps out at you. Right. Like that stuff's scary. But to me, I was more scared by like. Oh man, people are fucking crazy. That's what I'm saying. Totally like, do this. That's what I'm saying. I'm, getting, I'm more horrified. I'm like, oh my god, all these crazy things are happening. Yeah. Everything's going crazy. Like, I can't believe all these brutal things are right. happening. Like, I'm more like, oh my god, rather than like, yeah. Uh, and I will say, and then you know, not the biggest deal in the world, but a lot of the effects don't look that great. I thought the blood and gore stuff was okay. The it, blood and gore was fine. Yeah. It like some of the creature design. You know, and to be fair, like, some of that, how were you going to do that practically? Sure. But, you know, like, the part where, like, the bugs are flying in or whatever, sure. Yeah, you're going to That's why I think that. they should have stuck but, with the tentacles. Yeah. And with how those praying mantis things looking. Because you actually yeah, be fully see the praying mantis. Right, it's kind of off in the shadow. mist, and that's yeah. fine. Um, I will say about the tentacles, there is a part where, there's a couple parts where you see it, and it's practical, like, when they hack it with the axe, and it, it's, like, there, it's practical. But when it first comes through, it's definitely CGI, and I feel like, it felt like, that was one you could have totally done practically. Right. And maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like we don't see a crazy monster here. We just see tentacles. Yeah. I mean, you know, we could have done that practically. Yeah. I and I'm always, I'm always totally for it. Always do practical first. But yeah. yeah. I guess some of the times it's just the siege. I mean, it's maybe because I was just watching in the mind frame of like the just sure. I feel like I guess I've definitely seen worse CJ. Oh, yeah. I've definitely seen worse. And I'm not saying it ruined the movie. No. I just think, you know, it may be... Doesn't, doesn't look as good, good as it could have. Yeah. Uh, but, but you know, what, what are you gonna do? do? Sure. Um, but uh, that being said, the actual design was all, was all good. Yeah. I like the designs for things. They weren't you know rendered as good as I would like. But the designs were cool. 
Um, the, the the features of the things were cool, like the spiders that yeah. slung acid web. Yeah, that was some fucked up stuff. Because that's what I was saying. Where it's just like you have this serial killer shirt. These things are just like they're from a dimension where it's just like nothing, but you can just tell this like blood and murder. Yeah, like, that's all they do. That's all they care about. It's just like feeding, feeding. So it's just like yeah, everything you have is fucking fucked up. Yep, you know? and it's really it makes it really scary kind of. And um, I guess I just always try to imagine myself if I was in a situation and that thing was in front of me. Right. right. Fucking horrified. That, that being said, uh, and this is just, I always say this about horror stuff, this is just me. My favorite scenes were earlier in the movie, you know, we've seen the tentacle stuff, we know something's out there, but I like, I like, you know, not seeing this stuff more. And that's just my, I say that all the time, that's just like my thing. But I like the idea that there's the mist and hey we're all gonna leave and they just walk into the mist and yeah. that's it i actually was really shocked by how much we saw because i was always the impression you don't really see anything. right and to i think yeah, that's why i thought the twist was going to be was you don't see anything until they go into the mist and then you see it oh right i was really shocked i was like oh wow they're just showing shit right yeah there. um although we never really did see what did the tentacle thing like maybe yeah. it was that giant cthulhu thing but that didn't look quite like it would have been bended down put the tentacle no yeah yeah so it, too I, it was cool that they, they didn't show that one um but, uh, and again, we don't really see the praying mantis thing either. Yeah, but, but uh, I, yeah, I love those shots where it's just like, these people just leave and we just don't know what happens yeah. to them. I love that. That's great. Because um, it's crazy. They made that, they made it seem like almost as if that um, antagonist has character in the beginning. Was this going to be a bigger character? Like, he's going to change his mind and get back inside them? But no, he doesn't. They're just like, yeah. Yeah, so that was interesting. Like, they, they did a lot of characterization with that guy at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And they, at first, you kind of like, oh, this guy's not so bad. Oh, no, this guy's fucking bad. Yeah. And then he leaves, and it's just like, oh, man. Yep. Fuck, that guy's just gone. Because, yep. um, yeah, that's why I think it's crazy is I can totally still keep, see, hear people kind of being suspicious about something because that guy runs to his truck, and you hear him scream and get murdered. After that, anyone else who runs out there, you don't hear them scream or anything when they die. That's true. They just die. Yeah. Although well, that one chick somehow lived. Which you can see her on the truck at the end. Like the first chick that leaves. The oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she's on the truck at the end with her kids. So I don't know how that worked out. Um, I, only, I only paid attention to that actress because she was in The Walking Dead. Oh, okay. Which I don't, I which I don't like, but I did watch a lot of it. And, and then the main blonde chick is in The Walking Dead, too. Which main blonde chick? The only main blonde chick. Oh, is that the, uh, the wife of the one guy? In The Walking Dead? No. Oh, no, she was there. Sorry, you know the drill. Uh... Yeah, but Frank Darabont directed this movie, obviously, and mm -hmm. wrote it for the screen or whatever, did the screenplay, uh, and he also kicked off The Walking Dead show. Right. He did, like, the first episode and got, like, produced it for a while uh, until the, the the show ditched him, and then the show got real bad. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't that great to start with, but it's always funny to me that people are like, oh, that show's better than ever. I don't know, the guy that fucking started the show left, like, yeah. he got, and didn't even leave, he, the, the network, like, kicked him off, and it was, like, a big controversy, so. That's like saying Supernatural got really good when the fucking main the guy who created the series. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> people, people do think that. They do. They, they definitely do. think that the last five or six seasons have been better than the first ones, and no, they, they have not. fucking not been. Uh, I mean, you can't follow up off the apocalypse, let's be real, like, why would you... We don't even talk about Supernatural. <laughs> no, that's, like, the one comment it's gonna make. Right, right, right. Like, like, come yeah. on. Because um, speaking of apocalypse, all this shit's about apocalypse. True. Uh, Apocalypse Now, we're watching mm -hmm. that one tomorrow. It felt really, uh, really good when that one girl died. I was really, I was really... Uh, I was gonna say, actually, I, and this, you know, I, I think not everybody agrees with this, but I think if a movie or a book or some work of fiction can make you really hate someone, yeah. it did a good job. Because that's what I was thinking where I could tell this movie was really well done, because it's really well directed and well acted, because that actress really made you, like... And oh, in a believable yeah. way, not in a cheesy way or something like that. Yeah, it, it wasn't was like, you know, an, an 80s villain where you're like, oh, he killed your dog, get right. him, or it was like, oh my god, this yeah. bitch. Like, yeah. the rage I was feeling for her was, like, so palpable. It was like, if a movie can pull that off and make you feel that. Because you know she's fucking over people, but almost in a weird way, we, of course we don't know what the people did afterwards, but I almost in an inadvertent way she might have saved those people, because those people didn't leave with those other people. All the people who left did die. And if those people would have just stayed there and didn't want to wait it out, and the mist would have gone, they all would have lived. That's true. Because you almost kind of almost inadvertently said But at the same time, like, what those people ended up becoming in that time period, like, sure, sure you might live, but you also stabbed a guy and fed him to a praying mantis, so have fun going back to work next Monday. Like, you're kind of fucked up after that. And if you're not fucked up after that, Jesus, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I mean, you're going to be fucked up after what just happened no matter what. You're oh, yeah, definitely. You're going to be more fucked up. If, if you were responsible. Because now you're almost part of the problem. You were, like, the monsters in the Exactly, yeah. 
The monsters are due on Mulberry Street. Yeah. Is that the Twilight Zone episode where aliens make people kill each other instead of killing them? Spoilers for that episode of Twilight Zone. Dylan, any closing thoughts on The Mist? Uh, I really like it. I asked the movie I think I would even watch again, probably. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Um, you know, it's, again, it's kind of zombie stuff, so it's not the most original, but I think it's a, a unique take on it. Yeah. I think it does a lot of different stuff. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'd be curious to see, because it's based on like a novella or whatever by Stephen King, which is just a fancy word for short story, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm curious to see, to know like, what happened to the short story. Like, yeah, actually, how much of this stuff translates over? Because yeah. it sounds like the ending is a Frank Darabont thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not in the original. No. Because to me, when I was watching the first part, and, like, it's just all the shots of people leaving, I was like, I wonder if that's just the Stephen King thing and we don't see much. But I've also heard the Stephen King thing is pretty violent. So there's got to be some gore. I think you got to have violent and gore. I mean, that's kind of almost... That's the, that's the terror in this. Right. Is the violent and gore. That these creatures are just so violent. That's true. Although, to be fair, the last two things Frank Darabont directed by Stephen King were The Green Mile uh -huh. and Shawshank Redemption, which were very un-Stephen King true. movies. Um, well, I don't mean like it because of Stephen King. I just meant like, I think the time right, right. Right. Those things are violent. Um, but yeah, I was wondering specifically about that, like the bitch religious character, because that feels like a Stephen King character to me. Yeah. But like, surely in this short story, she's not that flushed out and has that much of a role. Maybe okay. she's not even in it. But to me, like, having read some Stephen King books and seen Stephen King movies, to me, that was a straight-up Stephen King character. Well, Maybe Frank Darabont just did a great say, job Frank, inventing Frank a character Frank had like done that. two other Stephen King. True. He might just be such a big Stephen King fan that he just knows what type right. of person he would write. Yeah, but to me, that, that totally felt like a, a classic Stephen King character. So I'd, I'd just be curious to know if she was in the original or not. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you've read the original short story, because I don't want to look it up. I'm fucking lazy. That's what we, that's what we got you guys for. That's what our audience yeah. is for. All I'm our sure fans probably out there. Read it after this, so. um, I don't I don't know how to read, so I'm gonna skip that. Um, anyways, uh, I guess real quick, uh, this isn't gonna be a whole thing, but we were just gonna mention like last last time yesterday for all you guys out there. Uh, we watched the Omen, which is all about like this religious like stuff, you know, like the world's gonna end, Antichrist kind of stuff, and it's an interesting parallel with this movie because this movie also has a similar theme with this girl like being like. I'm reading things from the Bible. Yeah, Listen to this like quote and how it relates to this. Yeah. But, you know, obviously the mist is kind of like, not necessarily poking fun at it, but, right. it, you know, it's showing the, like, crazy fantastical nature, almost like Fred Phelps shit yeah. side of it. Um, whereas the Omen was playing it as, like, you should listen to this because this is happening. Mm, yeah. You know, and like it's it's interesting how those yeah because that was was like hey this is happening okay and I believe you now but this was just like what she said was happening but they're just like no she's still crazy yeah so it's almost like kind of like a yeah um, I will say real quick uh, something I always appreciate in horror movies and there wasn't a ton of this in this because this was a very dark bleak mm -hmm. movie but I always appreciate. When a director can sneak in a few laughs. Yeah. And maybe they weren't intentional. Maybe I just laughed because stuff is funny to me. But the part where the, like the grandma or the old lady yeah. uses like a can of like aerosol and a match and like yeah, lights a bug on fire. I was like, that's, that's really fucking cool. cool. And there's also a part where the religious chick is talking and the grandma throws like a can of green great. beans at her or something. So, you know, levity is great in horror movies. Uh, I will say too, I think some of it kind of came up comedic in a very dark scene. But I think it captured what it probably actually would be like to be stuck in that situation in the supermarket. Yeah. Because the bugs are coming in, and you're like, we need to stop the lights. And the fucking dumbass people are turning on the lights. Oh, yeah. It, you're like, it's great. panic and confusion. Yeah, they're turning lights on. Yeah. And then you're trying to light the mop on fire to kill the things. But then some fucking person trips over a bookcase thingy, fucks up, and everything else. It's like, yeah. that's what it's really going to be like. And then you have other people that are, like, supposed to be doing something, but they're just, like, fucking, like, crouching in a corner, saying, yeah. like, help me, help me. And it's like... Okay. It, it was the same thing as like I, th I thought that exact same thought earlier when like the, the first guy gets taken by the tentacles yeah. and the, those two fucking douchebags are just standing there and you know at one you know from like an audience perspective it's like help him help him but at the same time you're like in that situation those guys would not help yeah. that is exactly what those because their thoughts would be like I'm gonna grab if I help him yeah exactly I didn't fucking what I don't even know what I'm looking at I ain't going near that shit um, so yeah I mean and especially with like douchey guys like that yeah. they really capture what it would probably actually be like to be in that supermarket yep. Um, yeah. So I know I already asked any closing thoughts on The Mist, but since we talked about it for three more minutes, any closing thoughts on The Mist? Nope. Good movie. Good hopefully movie. you didn't, hopefully you didn't listen to all this without watching it, but I guess still watch it. I mean, I knew the twist and I watched it and I still really liked it, so. Yeah. 
It's so good. But uh, hopefully, it was worth it. Hopefully, hopefully it took you know, five years to watch the movie, but I liked it. Yeah, it was good. Um, interesting. You know, I can understand why it's not a movie for everybody. Sure. Because horror movies in general are not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I'm just surprised how many people were disappointed by it or didn't like it. Because it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know. To me, this movie never got to a place that was like so bad or so mm -hmm. weird that I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be good. Or like, this yeah. was good, but it changed. Like, I guess it yeah. was consistent. My closing, what I'm saying. My like, closing thought would be if you watched a movie and didn't like it and you haven't watched it in a long time, watch it again. See what you think. Yeah. Maybe your expectations were off. And I don't yeah. know what the trailers were like. It could, have been, it could have been, exactly, it could have been trailers, it could have been some other things coming out at the time that made you think it was going to be Yeah, different. or maybe people said, like, because again, you mentioned, like, the twist, though it's great, it's not like the Sixth Sense twist where it changes the movie. Mm -hmm. So maybe people, like, were like, you got to see it, it's got the craziest right, twist. Exactly. And then you watched it and you were like, oh, that was a good twist, but that wasn't crazy. You know, maybe, so maybe, you know, you expected something. Maybe people, I don't, I don't know what the reaction was. Uh, but if you didn't like it, let us know why. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I would be curious to hear from people because I, I, to me, this was a great mm -hmm. movie, and I, I just I would want I wonder why people really, really wouldn't movie. be into it. All right, well uh, that was us talking about the mist, and we hope you liked it. And tomorrow, technically, it's gonna be I don't know the time stuff's all weird because we watched two in a row, but uh, tomorrow for you guys out there, yeah. and tomorrow for us because we're gonna be watching it tomorrow. We're gonna be watching Narui. The curse. Oh, fuck. We're down to that list already? Yep. Damn it. Yep. Why did I agree to the double feature? <laughs> <laughs> That's, I wanted to get ahead, but I was also like, if we knock these two out, we start getting to the real Good news. shit. Good news. I don't have to work the day after watching. No, yeah, that was probably what I wanted to do, too. It's like, you know, I'll give you a little bit of a break. Nice. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I'm not excited for that. I got tricked. I know some of the people that have been watching these, uh, you know, maybe some of these movies are, you know, movies you've seen. I think Norway the Curse, I, mean, I don't even know I'm saying that. No re, no Rai. I think that's a movie a lot of people haven't seen. Please watch that movie. It's on YouTube for free, subtitled. Watch it and join us in that chat. I really want to see what other people think about that movie because unlike most horror movies, you know, most horror movies I can be like, oh, I'll go to this message board. I'll see this trivia about it. Norway is a movie that, like, nobody has seen, but, man, you should see that movie. Mm -hmm. So maybe you'll watch it and disagree and think it was shit. I'm just curious to see what other people have to say about it because I, I haven't talked to anybody about it. Um... Join us for that. Follow us on Twitter as always. Mm -hmm. And uh, stay spooky. <laughs> stay uh, spooky, San Diego. I was going to say San Diego, but it <laughs> doesn't necessarily apply. No, but I mean, it doesn't matter. It's stupid, saying stupid, anyways. <laughs> <laughs>